What is going on, y'all? We've got another Jenga Brew around Finn the Fangbearer here. We got some nice new cards for it in Midnight Hunt with uh, Sereth the Viper's Fang is one, which gives all your other tapped creatures death touch. So you get to play good creatures that don't have death touch, which just makes your deck better in general and still have the ability to um, poison someone out with Finn. Also gives untapped creatures hexproof, which can be relevant against removal, but usually they'll just remove Sereth because it's the biggest threat on the board anyway, so that's not terribly relevant in most cases. The other new one is Tainted Adversary, a 2-mana two 2-3 two, with Death Touch, pretty good value on the front, and then you it is in the Adversary cycle, so you can pay 3 mana any number of times when it enters the battlefield, and then you put plus 1 plus 1 counters on it that many times and make that many 2-2 two, two zombies with Decayed. And then of course if you have a bunch of zombie tokens with Decayed, you can give them Death Touch with Sereth when they attack, and then you get a lot of bodies to close out the game, which is nice. You can also sacrifice those zombies to Skullport Merchant or Deadly Dispute, because we have the standard black treasure package, because that makes the deck much more consistent, and these are good one-drops to play, especially if you have other ways to give them Death Touch to combo with Finn. Finding the Old Gods also gives all your creatures Death Touch. This is pretty much the only deck in which that last chapter is relevant, but it does come up here sometimes, and just good general purpose removal. We also have the ability to ramp, and Skeletal Swarming is our other top-end win con. Of course, making a bunch of skeletons that all then have Trample and Death Touch can also close out the game, if they get Death Touch from Sarath or Binding, for example, and this is something that most decks don't really have a way to deal with. It's not necessarily powerful enough to win the game on its own anymore, but I do think it is a suitable top end for exactly what we're going for here. Also, two Blood on the Snows in case Mono White or Mono Green try and run away from us. We've got some removal, Devouring Tendrils, and Blizzard Brawl go well with our little Death Touch creatures. And we have a Learn Board for the Eye Twitch, some Man Lands, nothing else too exciting. Uh, is the deck. Let's go try it out. Mm, sure. We have part of our combo and stuff to do in the early game. We'll take it. See if our opponent would like to get started here. There we go. Mountain. Priority for play with fire, probably. If they use that to kill my eye twitch, I'm perfectly happy. Yep, good job. I think we'll just get sciences here, not knowing what we're up against. Even though we already have four lands. Also gives us definitively something to do this turn. Well, we find Finn which they'll probably just kill, but better than letting them draw cards if they have that option. Alright, they draw cards anyway, sure. Windfall, huh? Maybe not the standard, uh, is it turns then if they're playing Windfall. Oh, and they miss land, we like that. just use our sciences here then. If they could have killed Finn, I think they would have done that instead of foretelling. So no need to hold up dispute is what I mean. Well, this may be over quickly. something, but Finn hits again. Just go for the ghast dispute here. Or maybe not dispute. We can land Sarath next turn and get two poison counters down. Mm. I don't really want to give them the scry one because they're missing lands. Let's draw. Let's draw. 
and replaying Finn, we wouldn't get any value out of him for quite a while. And with two more lands on top, it's good to get through those. Yeah, I'll sack that too. More treasures. Okay, there's a card that does something. And they're done, because they don't get to scry for their lands. Boohoo. Sure, that's a hand. We'll need to draw lands, but there's not much else in our deck for us to draw other than lands in Deadly Dispute. Maybe this is karma for the last game that our opponent stuck on to. Here's a ghast. Can't attack with our ghast into that, but getting Finn down is probably good. They don't usually have ways around Death Touch nowadays. We'll like to find some removal for that Raptor, of course. Another Finn is not it. Guess I just hold back the ghast to block damage is not how we're going to win this game. And adversary is mana efficient. Even though we could get more value out of it later, I think the 2-3 is going to be much stronger here. Though now if they just have this 3-4 first striking battlefield raptor, there's not much we can do if they leave it back to block. They might get aggressive though. And they do. Yeah, this is definitely karma. Here's our second fin. Try and cheese him out here. Doesn't seem particularly likely, unless we find something to take care of the raptor. Spirit. All right, we're just never getting any damage through again. I think that's enough. Yeah, we're not. We don't have any outs to this. We're four turns away from blood on the snow. We just lose there. All right, that's a pretty nice curve. Definitely take it. As long as we find an untapped land by turn 4, we can have Swarming on 4 and everything else down. Seems pretty good. Our opponent is probably on mono green. Looks like it. Unfortunately, they are ready with the enchantment hate. We'll see if we can get them to trade off their Liberator before we go for the Swarming. Okay then, good game. Alright, been three very fast games so far. Can we get one to actually go the distance? Uh, no green source here means we have to throw this back. That looks fine. I guess we go for the turn three skeletal swarming and hope our opponent can't do anything about it. Which means we pitch the ghast. I think that's better than not hitting our third land here. Though I guess with the deadly dispute we probably hit it anyway, but we'll probably hit more low impact creatures like ghast as well. Green white could either be humans aggro or the go bigger uh, storm the festival. 
neither of which I think has a good way to deal with skeletal swarming. But we'll see. Alright, those are some good draws. But we're just gonna slam it and see if it wins us the game. Scoot Swarm. Alright, it is landfall. We must attack each turn. And here's an eye twitch. Do I dispute this now just to get the other skeleton? I think so. How are they going to punish me for that? Doomscar? Not on turn four with nothing foretold. I think I want to go ahead and get Containment Breach. The way we lose here is if they land Felidar Retreat. I guess Binding also takes care of that nicely. But Binding can hit the Scoot Swarm or anything else they want to do here. Alright, can also hit Chariot. I take one, very unfortunate. See, this is a sorcery. We have six mana, which means we can Merchant and uh, Containment Breach the Chariot and still have a treasure. Seems pretty good. They might have a second Chariot, but so be it. being pretty aggressive here with the skeletons. Okay, they trade off all of them. We get two back at the end of turn. And they still take four. Also have some sort of ramp here to get their scoot swarm to start making copies of itself. Otherwise, I'm hoping we get one more turn. No, they're just going to board wipe. That's fine. Do I bother binding that? I guess it's pretty good, and otherwise I'm doing nothing with this turn. It lets them do all their landfall stuff multiple times. And of course we get a second skeleton if we kill it. Didn't think of that. There's the Storm the Festival. Let's see. Alright, two lands. We take it. And yep, now they're dead to skeletal swarming. One more turn and we could combo with the fin and binding going off, but does not seem that is necessary to win this game. Turn three skeletal swarming just did enough. Alright, let's see what Fabio's got for us here. This hand looks just fine. Can I twitch into Finn, and then we have stuff for the late game. Looks like they're on Demir Control, which could be rough for us. They might not have a way to remove a Skeletal Swarming if we get one down, though. Alright, so they were on full control, they didn't actually have anything. They might have a counter spell. Essence Scatter is a card you can play, but I think they just had stop set. Nope, they've got something. Minus two, easy. Go to combat first. And we'll play the Blight Blade eventually. To the tapped land. Of course, if our opponent doesn't play any creatures, Sarath doesn't really do much of anything unless they are. unless we have a fin down. Because, of course, if they have a spot removal spell, they'll hit the 3 4 before they hit a 1 1. So the hex proof is not terribly relevant. Ouch. We get to learn. I guess we'll kill their Meat Hook Massacre. 
Let's play another eye twitch. Make a pest. Now if they kill this eye twitch, we'll get sciences. Nothing. No land either. I like that. Go to attacks. I think I just want to play the Shambling Ghast here. I think they want to sweep eventually, and if we don't have Sarath down, they don't get to do that very well. Or if they're holding up a counter spell here, that doesn't do a whole lot against Shambling Ghast. They feel pretty bad using a Sod coming on a Shambling Ghast. Siphon Insight. Alright, that's not great for us. Though they'll probably want land since they missed last turn. Unless they found the other blood on the snow, for example, I doubt they would be able to resist that. Looks like it's just land, though. Ah, oh, they got a good one, too. There's our fin, which doesn't do anything this turn. But if we get it down, then Sarath next turn might help. I'm sure they have something to deal with it here. Maybe they're just siphoning again. Yep, and then they'll do something on their turn to stop our death touch. Is, I'm sure, their plan anyway. Maybe it doesn't quite work out that way. Six mana acquired. They can blood on the snow, but they don't have anything in the yard. Haven't seen anyone play Graven Lore in a while. Shadow's Verdict, that's rough. Untapped land off the top though. And now we land Skeletal Swarming. See if they have a way to deal with it. gotten a binding from us as well that would deal with the skeletal swarming but otherwise I don't think they have a good way to do it yeah they're stuck now how do you deal with skeletal swarming They might also run Divide by zero. That's probably their best bet. And then they counter it if we try and cast it again. Icebreaker Kraken. That's not at all what I was expecting. So that's an 8-8. Eight, eight. We can Blood on the Snow. They can bounce it to their hand, but then they lose three mana, which seems okay. And we get back a fin. And make two more skeletons. So they can't cast this again if they return three lands to their hand, because it took six lands to play it here. If they return three, they're only on four. We can't be in a place where they're going to win us in a race, so I think we have to stop this Kraken from staying around. As it is a three turn clock, and two if they decide to use their Faceless Haven. Yep, so now we're back in a decent position. Oh, they exiled all their stuff in the graveyard. We don't get Finn back, but that's fine. I think we're still doing okay. 
probably just attack with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, depending on what they do here. Massacre. That's rough. Back up to 15. We could have spot removal here. But if we use the Hive, we force them to use it on our turn to give us an extra skeleton. Whereas if we play Sarah, they can wait until their turn. They do have spot removal. Yep. Now, let's see. Can they cast this again? It's reduced by five. No. Cost seven now because one of these lands is not snow. Just can't let them lethal us, and skeletal swarming should eventually win. Looks like they understand that it is now a race, they're reaching for their creature lands. They might think I have my own instant speed removal, though. Skullport Merchant's a good draw. Gets us some cards here. Assuming they don't counter it, that is. They go into block. That's fine. Somewhat makes me wish I had played the Skullport Merchant beforehand, as we could draw off the one they block. But either way, Creature dies, so we get two skeletons back. And now it means this is not going to be countered. How many permanents does this tap? No, just all artifacts and creatures don't untap the next turn. Sure. Now they can cast it, but it's their whole turn. And we get to draw a bunch of cards off our merchant. Meat hook for four. All right. We'll draw some cards. Not great cards. But it is something to do. Let's play them out here. I don't see any reason to hold back. We're losing if we're not pretty aggressive here. Those meat hook massacres, man. Back up to 17, even with using Shadow's Verdict, too. You'd think they'd want more destroy for the life gain. There aren't really one to three indestructible creatures, but I suppose it does stop our death triggers from Shambling Ghast and Eye Twitch and all that. What do you got there, boss? Here comes the Kraken. Our creatures have Death Touch, though. So it's not an effective blocker. Deadly Dispute's a nice draw. Do I bother untapping this for one? I don't think so. Sarath can block a Faceless Haven or something. One damage secured. Sack this now, so we get the skeleton. Okay, 
Makes me wish I saved my land drop so I could play the lair, but that's okay. And we'll play the Blight Blade so we have a good blocker for the Icebreaker. We can also now untap a 3-1 Skeleton to block a Faceless Haven, or have the Eye Tyrant, something like that. does still have plenty of resources though. Spot's still pretty tight. Another meat hook, why not? Three out of four in the top 19 cards? Seems fine. Got a two turn clock on us. Though next turn, I suppose the layer of the Hydra is just big enough to block the Kraken. Or anything else they might throw at us. Dragon Turtle, sure. Good choice. I haven't seen that card much, at least not since the AFR first came out. Pretty slow. But I guess it doesn't matter how slow you are when you have three meat hooks. Alright, there goes our layer of the Hydra. That's rough. Our outs in this game are fading. Pretty much need a Blood on the Snow here, the second one. And then we still go to one, and no, we die because of the Meat Hook Massacre. That's GG. Ah. Sweeper Tribal, man. Only so much we can do. We'll have to find something powerful, but this is good stuff to have in the early game. Open with the ghast, in case we can ramp into a turn three skeletal swarming again. Is it control looks like? Alright, that's that's fine by me. A bit surprised they'd use Dragon's Fire on that. Generally turn one shambling ghast gets sacrificed pretty quickly. Didn't really find much that makes our deck go, but we still have things to do. That certainly helps. Oh. I suppose I might as well play the eye twitch. We're not going to need that many treasures, especially if we don't have a merchant in hand. Let's give ourselves the option of having more attack power next turn. Does nothing turn three like that. Do need to find a fin or a swarming though, or they will just win as soon as they have enough mana to cast all their epiphanies. I think we just go to our turn here. I 
They might be sitting on a counter spell for the Deadly Dispute, but I don't think we can realistically sit back on it while having nothing more going for us. Alright, resolves, and we'll just go for the other eye twitch. There's a lot of one drops and lands here. Not really what I want to see. I suppose with all these treasures we can attack with a really big layer of the Hydra though. Never mind. Our opponent has located their field of ruin. There's a fin. Don't know any ways to give our other creatures death touch though. And Finn definitely just dies here. Or gets countered, something along those lines. They just want to use their turn to kill our Lair of the Hydra. Fine. Anything that makes me draw fewer lands, we'll take. one epiphany foretold almost certainly another one drop sure here's the removal for Finn looks like or maybe not any reason not to play the ghast here can't think of one They have a sweeper, it's not doing any better in our hand. Cinderclasm, sure. We get to learn at least. Gives us something worthwhile to do. We'll go get mascot exhibition for sure. And I guess none of these others really do anything against Alrin's Epiphany. So we'll just take Pest Summoning for the bodies. And now they're going to kill Finn as well. Sure. Congratulations. Make them counter here if they've got it. So otherwise they'll do memory, memory deluge or something along those lines. D-stroke, go for it. I guess the only way I really want these treasures is if I specifically draw a merchant. So I'll go ahead and make the pests in case they plan to beat me to death with all the storm giants or something. We'll see if they have untapped land, Galvanic Iteration, Alrin's Epiphany to win the game here. Three exact cards, which are definitely what they have left. No, guess not. Alright. Draw the Merchant anyway, not really what we want. Um, so now they can block with the Hall of the Storm Giants, which is not great. So we'll play the Merchant first. And we can draw off of whichever one they block. And I want to have as many tr possible draws as possible, so I don't think it's worth trying to attack with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant here. We just need more gas. We're not that close to killing them. Okay. They don't block. They take the two. I suppose it's not a huge issue for them. 
We're looking for their galvanic iteration, probably, as long as my read on that epiphany is correct. But even if it goes through, we're not dead. And we will have about as many cards in hand as they will. Okay, they don't find it. We'll draw off our treasures here. Don't waste the mana. Only way we're really punished is if now they cinderclasm away our pests. Alright, there's a threat. No use powering up the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, they'll just feel to ruin it now. No blocks once again. See if they have counter magic. Oh, it was a sod coming the whole time, sure. Field of Ruin holds priority, they don't necessarily have anything else. And I suppose they also still have enough to power up the Storm Giants. I'll tap it here and use the mana to sacrifice our Ghast. generally better than the one point of damage the ghast could theoretically get for us next turn. Alright, Devouring Tendrils with no death touch. And of course a creature that only exists during combat. So our sorcery speed fight spells are not great. We keep drawing. Skullport Merchant is really trying to carry us here. Blightblade can help, as can another Hive. So first we just go to combat and attack with the Pests, see if they power up their Hall of the Storm Giants. If they do, we can kill it with the Blightblade. Nope. somewhat close to dead, and we can draw off of all these 1-1s. One so if they are sitting on another Cinderclasm, it doesn't do very well for them. Or they could just deluge here, and look for their win the game button. Magma Opus Gamers. Alright, sure. I will draw off of all three of these 1-1s. One -ones. Congrats. They get a 4-4 and 2 cards, which is not great for us. Of course, the auto tapper did it poorly. Oh well. We don't have anything castable anyway. Don't usually see Magma Opus nowadays. People just play Epiphany and call it good. Still no attacks. Hmm. Suppose we can. Blizzard Brawl, our Hive of the Eye Tyrant, through their token. It's not terrible. I think we go for it. At least try and get these out of our hand. Get some value out of them. They can kill the Hive in response, but then we can draw. And still a one for one. I 
have another opus with how much they're clicking here. They do indeed. Wait, no, cancel. Tap this for mana. There's a fin. Tap that for mana. Since it is our main phase, we can use the fin. And I suppose just kill a 4 4 with it. Or we can hold up the draw and just blood on the snow the 4 4's next turn. We probably got more counter spells though. Let's just get this out of our hand. We haven't seen any sweepers that aren't Cinderclasm. They might not be running any epiphanies at all if we've been this far and haven't seen any. Almost halfway through their deck. See if they've got multiple. Looks like it. They're going for the win here. Well, maybe not if they're holding back the 4 4. They think they still need to block. Tainted Adversary can be good, but if this Blood on the Snow doesn't resolve, we just lose regardless. Let's see if they're still sitting on a counter spell. Not yet, but top four might find one. Unfortunate. Well, that's gonna be game. Okay, we have both colors. We have decent curve on the draw, of course. Never too lucky. But being on the draw means our two lander is less likely to suck. Basic Forest with priority. Second main Sentinel. Alright, gamer. Alright, guess they're playing Elves, probably. No. No idea what they're playing here. Just green black aristocrats another sentinel sure boss if we play Finn here they're more likely to block the scent the blight blade but they'll probably just trade it anyway maybe maybe they're ramping towards something big I guess the tainted adversary is a better attacker than Finn Whereas Finn we can play next turn and have it still do stuff. Though Tainted Adversary is also our only top end card at the moment. Alright, Finn it is. Yep, easy trade. Opponent's almost out of cards though and they haven't done much to impact the board. Yeah, I'm not going to block, but you can't block either, so you might as well attack here. 
Unless you think you're going to use it for mana, I suppose. I think what I want to do here is just play the merchant. Let's go to combat first. They don't have anything. No blocks. Poison acquired. I'll save the mana. Maybe we pay for the adversary next turn. And Eye Twitch just runs into the Sentinel here, so it's not we're not in any hurry to get that out. Okay, still no plays from the opponent. Backup Finn could be handy. Save the binding for if they play something of higher value. Maybe they're Ren gamers, for example. Yeah, I could play the adversary here. We don't have a way to give the zombies death touch, so it's not fantastic. It is a big threat that they have to respect, though, as a 3-4 that also works with Finn. And it gives us two more bodies to sacrifice to the merchant, which I suppose is pretty good, too, as opposed to just playing Eye Twitch and sacking it here. Also plays around Crippling Fear. I guess they could be rogue gamers. Green-black rogues is theoretically possible. Westgate Regent. Alright, I have plenty of cards. Yep. I'll just discard the Eye Twitch, and then, yeah, they lose. Not too bad. Opponent also playing some green-black jank there. I think that will do it for today.